cars. No cable cars are currently active. So the Golden Cape Bridge, sometimes it's really hard to see because it's super foggy. San Francisco is known to be foggy. Hi everybody and welcome back to our channel and our continuation of our California series and specifically in San Francisco we're here at the Oakland Athletic Stadium, the Coliseum. Fun fact, the Oakland Athletics started off in Philadelphia then moved all their way over to the Kansas City area and now are currently in Oakland. Uh, the Athletics are also called the A's uh, for short which is probably the more common name. So let's head on in and watch the games. So we are headed out, had a great time at the A's game, and we are headed over to San Francisco to uh, have some fun. Let's go. So we're here at Battery Godfrey. Uh, this was established in 1895. Hosts three large guns uh, as a part of the military. Some pretty fun stuff, but uh, as you can see behind us, uh, you know, most of it is uh, fairly old looking at this point, but uh, very beautiful. part of San Francisco and that is viewing the Golden Gate Bridge. So the Golden Gate Bridge sometimes it's really hard to see because it's super foggy. San Francisco is known to be foggy and we just took a shot somewhere. Um, there's like three viewpoints here. So one is called Battery Godfrey. The other one's Golden Gate Overlook in Marshall's Beach. So we are actually walking down these stairs to Marshall Beach right now. It's pretty steep, so I'm gonna get off camera so I can concentrate on walking. <laughs> As you can see behind us, it's cleared up. Uh, we waited about, I don't know, let's say 15 minutes to a half an hour. You're gonna have to put your time in because uh, the fog 
just floats and moves in quickly, in and out. So uh, really, really happy about, uh, about this shot. This is pretty exciting. <laughs> Beach right now so hopefully when we get to the top the fog is still clear so we can go to that last overlook that I was talking about which is the Golden Gate Overlook the most touristy spot so fingers crossed let's head there now so we're back up here at Battery Godfrey and you pass God Battery Godfrey to the overlook unfortunately as you can see the fog has settled back in you can see the fog blowing through the leaves so we're gonna end today and actually head for dinner so we'll see you tomorrow morning for more of San Francisco we made it to Lombardo Street so we're walking down it now. There's steps to the side, and it is named one of the most crookedest street in the world. As we were walking, a lady passed by and she said she wanted to get out of here before all the tourists came. And it's because it tracks two million people every single year. It originally was just a steep hill going straight down like most other streets in California. However, it was considered too steep and a lot of cars had trouble getting down. So in 1922, they completed this redesign and this is what we see today. We need coffee, so we're gonna leave uh, this street and go get coffee. We're actually gonna head to the cable car museum after we get coffee, so we'll see you there. here at the San Francisco Cable Car Museum. Uh, we came here today because no cable cars are currently active due to COVID. As uh, again, as said before, because it is mostly a tourist attraction. So for safety purposes, they have it closed down. But we're gonna go inside here today and we're gonna see some old cable cars. <laughs> so, to our, so to our surprise the museum is completely free we just kind of walked in it is a very small museum but we wanted to experience the cable cars and right behind us are the lines for the cable cars that remain there are four but technically only three are in service which is california Powell, and hyde and originally there were 23 lines established between 1873 and 1890. Uh, but we only got three left now and it's just mostly for tourists, it operates for tourists. in here and shows you the cable cars, how it looks, models, photographs of back then in the 1800s. And 
we definitely have to stop here to get a better understanding of the cable car, the culture, and how it affected and influenced the progression of San Francisco. It's pretty cool down here. <laughs> Just want to say you get like a real perspective of how crazy and intricate the system is and they only did it in the eight, late 1800s. Hidden gem. <laughs> Walking from the cable car, we're gonna go have lunch and then we'll see you at our next stop. So we made it to Golden Gate Park and this is gonna be the last stop for today. We're specifically gonna go to the Japanese tea garden so we'll see you there shortly as we're heading there. So this Japanese tea garden is the oldest public Japanese tea garden in the US. And it originally was made as a Japanese village exhibit for the California Midwinter International Expo. But once the fair had ended, Mr. Hagiwara wanted to keep it open and pretty much compromise with the stu superintendent and he did and his and his family lived here he made new additions and expanded the garden until World War II. In World War II unfortunately like many other Japanese Americans they were forced into camps and during that time they basically seized his home removed all his treasures made new additions on their own without any input and unfortunately he never returned back here to his home it's very beautiful and they now do a lot of things to honor him as an understanding of the wrongs that had occurred and it's super peaceful there's also a tea garden on site so you can actually just actually have tea which is really nice it seems very busy over there so we're gonna keep on strolling So we're here at the tea house. We're gonna have some green tea uh, called Sencha, and then we're gonna have uh, some Adamande and just uh, chill out for a little bit and relax. at the Japanese tea garden and headed back to our car through the park. So we are ending our first official day here in San Francisco and continuing tomorrow. So make sure you tune into next episode to see more of San Francisco. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's travel together in the next one. Bye. And as you can see, although it was clearing up on the other side of San Francisco, it's not so cleared up now. It is so foggy.